Hey everybody, thank you so much for visiting the channel. We're going through another episode and this one will be talking about the Easy Bridge Plus and how that whole thing works out. Now Easy Bridge Plus is basically clever for ready gen um, products that you wanna use with your students. So instead of uh, students remembering another password, like they don't need another password to remember the Brain Pop or LexiaCore or Sch uh, Scholastic or iReady, they would just log everything into easy bridge so we're gonna connect that to clever we're gonna show you how to do that and we're also gonna go into adding classes and adding certain products as well as creating groups in those products and most of all the student perspective and what the students see when they access the links so let's get started with teacher access first okay so teacher access we're gonna go over here we're gonna type in the word savvis realize there are three different ways to get to this. We would go to SS Roomba. We're showing you the first way and the tried and true method. Once you get to the actual website, you would go to Easy Bridge Plus and you would just type in your school district. Once you do that, you press go and it'll bring you to your login page and the way your school district logs in. The second way to do it is if you actually head to our school page And once you go up to teachers and staff, you'll come down to the very last link and click that and it's gonna bring you to that very same page. The final method is if you actually go to your email address and go to sign in. This is actually the most simplest way to use it, uh, to get to it. You would go over here to the waffle and you would go to all apps. You're gonna find it and type in Easy Bridge Plus, and instead of clicking it, you're gonna press the three dots at the side and pin it to the launcher. Once it's been pinned, you're gonna refresh the page. And now forever, whenever you're in your 365 Outlook, you can go up to the waffle and it'll be the very last option. Make sure you add these other links if you haven't. I did that in a previous video. It makes your life a lot easier and you can get to these websites a lot faster. So we're gonna click that guy. And this is how the page should look. This is Savvis Easy Bridge Plus. So we have the classes and the products and the current and the future classes and the past classes. If you click this, this is pretty much gonna be empty at this point because it's the first time we've installed this program. Below here are the rosters. Now these should be synced up with your PowerSchool rosters. That's why it says ELM, uh, ELA, Math, Science, Social Studies. And if you, just for your own sake, always check the rostering to make sure that your students are there, count them off, make sure that they're all there before you go ahead and add a product. Now these are the products here, but there's so many more to choose from. To save time and uh, energy, just use the HR5. This is basically what you're gonna use if you're an uh, elementary teacher. The students would get it regardless of whichever those rosters that they're a part of. We're gonna go over to the learning system and for this video, we're actually gonna go to realize. We're gonna scroll down until we get to the ReadyGen product. There it is, and we're gonna add the fifth grade version of it. Go to save, and now the student should be able to have access to it, and it's active for everybody that was in this roster. The way we can check it is if we click this guy over here. Now, this is the first time that it looks like, and this is what it should look like the very first time you log in. Here's your browse program, there's your view class, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different settings. Everything from the programs to choose, the profile image you wanna use, and the background that you wanna use. Let's choose, uh, yeah, this one. This guy actually. Type in your name, and it's automatically gonna have you selected at fifth grade, but you could always change that or whatever you, your grade is in PowerSchool, it'll automatically have that. We're gonna go back to the front page and now those are the things that you'll have. 
Okay, so this is what you should normally be seeing and this shouldn't be anything new at this point. The cool part about this is if once you go to view class, the assignments are already there, the calendar, the discuss and the student groups. So automatically your students should already be logged in with their Hempstead IDs because it's all through Easy Plus at this point and it's basically the quicker way that they get in. If you wanna break up the uh, students into groups, you would just go to show groups and you could just basically add them how you want. Up here, you would create a group. We'll call this group, group C. And it's gonna say success, you've created a group and you just click this guy and you choose whatever uh, students you wanna choose. You just click. And you're gonna to go to save. Now, each one of these have a certain number of groups and once you put your cursor over it, over that number, you're gonna see the participants that are in that group. And that makes it easier when you assign material, like if you're assigning the very first uh, baseline test at the beginning of the year, and the students could take care of it digitally. So that makes your life a lot easier if you need to, but this is pretty much how you would assign assignments and you can just browse the program and look through it for the students. So this just makes it easier for the students. It's one less password that they have to remember. It's one less username that they have to remember and everything is gonna be saved. Okay, so an important thing to remember when adding any clever link is to get your students to log in using the 365 credentials. That would be your office outlook email as the username and you know that st uh, u password whatever they use as the 365 login try your best to get the students to log in this way and not just scanning the badge and the reason for that is because many of the apps do work with clever but all of our apps work with office 365 i'm gonna explain so if you scan with Clever, you'll still not have access to your email. It'll ask for your 365. You still won't have access to Schoology. It'll ask for your 365. If the students go to the technology links, they won't be able to access um, GoMath because it'll ask for the 365. If you click dimensions and the science and they take the baseline there, shocker 365 if they go to easy bridge the video that we're doing again they need the 365 so if you're in grades three four five and i maybe even second it'd be best if you try to get your students to log in with the office 365 credentials and get them to avoid using the badge altogether Okay, so once you enter Clever, you're gonna head over to your personal page and you're gonna make a custom link. So we're gonna go all the way down and go to add and we're gonna go to the third option, which is link. The link that we need is right here in the student links. So it's pretty simple to get there. You would get to the page, go to students and scroll down to technology links. You're gonna come over here and find the easy bridge tab Click it with the right key and go to copy link address. You're going to come back over to your page and you're going to paste it as your custom URL. So that's what it should be. And then you're going to type in Savis. And you could choose any one of these icons. Let's pick the brain and we go to add. And there it is. And if I select it, I would get directly in. Once the students select that, they're gonna get directly in as well. We're gonna show you right now. Okay, so this is what the students should be seeing. They're gonna head to your personal page and they're gonna go to that custom link down at the bottom. This custom link is actually, to make it simpler, it will be in the description box and in the email. So if you need to just make your own, that's fine. Um, once the student selects it, this is the page they'll see. They can click Savis Realize or they can click um, the program that they're already added for over here. And once they select it, it will ask them a bunch of questions. The first one is the language that they prefer, the icon, the background image, 
and when they're ready to get started. So at this point, they're going to go into viewing that class and it's going to say that they're part of that ELM HR5 class. So it's one less thing for them to worry about and it's a lot simpler for them to get around. If your students already know how to use the Outlook, so I'm going to log in and head to the Outlook. So this is the students and if they can go to the waffle, they'll see it too. You can get them to go to their Outlook and go to all apps and add Easy Bridge to theirs. And when they refresh, there it is, Easy Bridge Plus. It'll bring them to the same exact website. So again, you can add it into Clever or you can add it uh, access students to add it to their Outlook 365 waffle. And that'll make it simpler for them to access it and simpler for you to access it. And it's one less username and password that they have to worry about. And it'll keep things nice and orderly. So I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, talk to you soon.